Hi, Dr. Rose here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the difference between chemical and physical sunscreen. Uh, chemical sunscreen, it sounds pretty bad, right? So a new, as a marketing ploy, uh, the term chemical was changed, was changed to organic. So when you see organic sunscreen, that's basically what it means. Uh, so when UV rays strike the skin and strike this sunscreen, there's a chemical reaction that occurs to disperse the UV energy, and in that way, you get UV protection. Physical sunscreens, uh, they're also called inorganic. Uh, those are simply a protective shield on the top of your skin. So the UV rays cannot penetrate this shield. Uh, these uh, physical sunscreens are what's seen in baby baby sunscreens, uh, things marketing, marketed for children, also for sensitive skin, uh, and they tend not to be irritating. So uh, when you're looking at sunscreen, just that's what they're talking about when they say chemical versus physical. The physical ones are zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. So those are the ingredients that you're looking for. If you see those ingredients, then you know that it's made uh, for sensitive skin, it's made for children, uh, that's what you want to go for. So if you know that you have rosacea, acne, you have uh, skin that's on the sensitive side, you want to go for your physical sunscreens or your inorganic sunscreens. If you see ingredients like avobenzone, uh, those are all chemical sunscreens or organic sunscreens. There's a lot of uh, controversy. I'm still waiting for a lot of the studies to be completed because we're discovering new things about these products every day. Um, they're really good and they're very reliable, uh, but they can be irritating. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at ingredients.